I've said it to people before when they're, they're losing a bit of motivation and, you know, like I forgot to tell myself sometimes, it's like, think about when we started the sport and how much fun we were having back then and along the way we do lose sight of it. Yo, what's up, it's your boy Shmoke James. We're out here and we are getting it. I wanted to have a little talk about some stuff that I've been thinking about and things I want to try and improve on going into the next season. Firstly, let's start off with how I performed this season or this previous season. Um, I personally didn't think that I performed up to expectations of other people and of myself. The main things that I felt affected me was the ongoing ankle injury that I had. I'm definitely not trying to blame that at all, but well, I do think it personally hampered a little bit of the process which then affected the outcomes and the results. I, I don't believe because of having the injury that it made me try any any less than I, what I did. I still try to give it my all and what I performed when it came to the competition was just the best that I could I could do. I was happy with myself for that. I was wanted to do better. Moving forward now, having gotten the surgery and working on it, like so I've been five weeks post-operation at this point and I'm trying to really make sure I improve my range, my strength and um, my mobility, get everything back to hopefully feeling normal. So, you know, once I once I get back to, to normal, I feel like it'll be a better indication of what my abilities is like. I think I was honestly just very, very lucky and very fortunate that I was able to get that triple jump result out there this year. That result should have been the least likely outcome, but happened, so I don't know. Going back to the to the actual injury, what I think it affected me was one, I my ankle range, my ankle range before the injury on my right foot was at about 12 to probably like 12 to 13 centimeters. So at the time, it was better than what my left leg, which is my jump leg. Once that was restricted back to like like four four to five centimeters, and then I was like competing competing with it at like six to seven centimeters and like on a really good day it would be like eight centimeters tops it just showed him like in all the videos like that i put up where it was like running with a limp like the limp slowly faded away but i was never able to get like full extension off off of that ankle but saying that i was running probably at my fastest um, at some of these competitions this season, but at the same time, I'd lose that speed coming into the board a lot more than what I had before. Point two that I want to talk about is keeping my motivation going through all of that. I think it was, it was very difficult. I, I did struggle at times to, you know, stay motivated to, to want to keep going because it felt like even with the treatment and everything I was doing outside, it wasn't getting uh, much better. Well, so it turns out the microphone wasn't even plugged in that whole time, and I still don't know if it. <coughs> oh snap! Like it was, it was good having a coach that, you know, didn't didn't give up on me and didn't let me give up, give up on myself, and then also just trying to have a bit of fun with it because I've said it to people before when they they're losing a bit of motivation and you know like I forgot to tell myself sometimes it's like think about when we started the sport and how much fun we were having back then and along the way we do lose sight of that some do stop enjoying themselves you know when we first all started it it was all for just having a go and having fun and like we lose sight of that and then our judgment gets clouded pretty much it turns into a chore we're in a routine of I, well, I went back with a mindset of i do personally love this sport so much so why not have a bit of fun with it and then that's pretty much what led me into into the new year especially and then into that triple jump comp that i did where i did the pb because i was like you know what I got no expectations. Everyone's expecting me to not do well here. I'm like, I'm gonna just go out, have fun. If I do bad again, I'm gonna try again next year. And like, that's what I've been doing for the last 
three or four years and then I had a breakthrough finally. When it came down to nationals, like I probably put a bit too much pressure on myself and crumbled a little bit. Oh well. And you know, the funny thing is like, I've said it in, in a song I've done before and it was that one that I was like, you know, having a lack of motivation. You know, I said something about wanting to go back to the, to the hill where I was running having fun. 20 years later, I have a fork in me because people think I'm done. Long. Just laugh, maybe take it back to the hill was running happy fun. 12 years later, got a fork in me because people think I'm done, but. What I meant by that was like back in Lula, before I even started with athletics, I was just running around on the hill waiting for my brothers to do that little athletics meet and you know how much I was racing people and I was having fun and doing whatever and then yeah I lost sight of that along the way because pressure sets in and and external factors and all that but you know what you just go do you do you I'ma do me I'ma just keep running and trying to jump as far as I can put my sand out uh, put, my, put my feet out and try not to touch the sand as long as I possibly can if you want me to talk about anything else, just leave it in the comment section because I'm happy to answer these questions and make a video on it if you, if you would like. What's good about coming back from this post-operation is having like weekly goals in this rehab program and that's, that's, that's probably another incentive and, and something that helps keep something motivated so it's not looking so far down the track and long term. Like even if you set yourself short term goals because I feel like that's helping me keep going and pushing through all the stuff that I have been going through. I'm enjoying it because like week one it was like you know like get back to walking fine uh, second week um, being able to I think calf raise and whatever and as we progressed on I like went on to this uh, treadmill exercise where it takes away a bit of your body percentage so that I'm not putting the full load through my ankle and I was at 70% and then progress to 80% and today we got to 90% so even like by next week I might even be able to um, start doing some running and stuff again and then that's going to be exciting and then I'll be able to jump again after that and then back into the swing of everything and that's like what I'm really excited about and like you know it's only been in one week one week increments where we've been setting the goals out but you know we've been we've definitely been improving and everything's going in the right direction. I just still need to be on top of getting my range back and my strength back so that I don't have any problems like I did last year. And if I don't have any problems like that, I'm excited to see what can happen. See if I can actually get like full extension off a triple jump and actually run properly. And like I've, I've been learning and understanding what I need to do to, to be able to jump far, uh, mainly in long jumping a bit more consistently. So I'm excited to try and implement that when I get back into it. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, it's been your boy, Shmaya James. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'm out. Deuces.